Now let's analyze the same circuit using mesh analysis techniques just to demonstrate mesh analysis in the uh, in the phaser domain and show that we get the same answers either way. You'll recall that in mesh analysis we identify the meshes and a mesh is any loop that doesn't contain other loops. So we've got a loop here and we'll define the mesh current as the uh, we've got a mesh here and we'll define the mesh current going in that direction to be I1 We'll define this mesh current here to be I2, and this mesh current up here to be I3. And we now write KVL equations for each of those three meshes. Starting with the left-hand loop, and we'll start right here and go in the direction of the mesh current. We've got uh, two times I1 going in this direction minus I3 going in that direction. So it'll be I1 minus I3. Then minus to plus, that's a voltage increase, so that'll be a minus 12 volts. Then coming down here, we've got plus, uh, the impedance in that branch is 2 plus J times the current flowing in that direction going down is I1 minus I2. I1 minus I2. Then coming back around here and going up the left-hand branch, we've got um, we've got coming back this way plus um, 3 minus J4 times I1. And the sum of those terms equals 0. Going around the top loop, starting here in this upper left-hand corner, we'll have, and going in the direction of the, of the mesh current, we have um, 2 times I3. And coming on around back here, we have plus 2 times I3 minus I2. Across this voltage source, now we're going at, in a voltage drop, so we'll add the voltage drop of plus 12, and then plus 2 times I3 minus I1. The sum of those terms equals 0. And then the right-hand loop starting here and going in the clockwise direction. We've got 2 times I2 minus I3 plus, coming down the right-hand side here, we've got plus 2 times, uh, what is that, I2. And then we've got a voltage drop, plus to minus, it'll be a positive, but the voltage drop is a negative J6, so it'll be minus J6, plus now coming back here and going up, we've got plus, the impedance in that branch is 2 plus J times I2 minus I1. And the sum of those terms equals 0. Once again, we have three equations and three unknowns, so let's combine the terms. We'll have um, I1 times, let's see, we've got 2 plus 2 plus J, plus, um, let's, see, let's write these down here, 2 plus 2 plus J, plus 3 minus J4 for the I1 terms, plus I2 times, we've got a minus Let's see, 2 plus J times a minus 2 I2, that would be a minus 2 minus J, minus 2 minus J, plus I3 times, uh, let's see, looks like it's just a minus 2, equals, now we've got a plus, or a minus 12 here that we bring to the other side as a plus 12, in the second equation, we have I1 times, looks like we've got a minus 2, plus I2 times, looks like we've got a minus 2 there also, plus I3 times, let's see here, 2I3 
plus 2i3 plus 2i3, that looks like 6i3 equals, and then we've got a positive 12 on this side. When we bring it to the other side, it'll be a minus 12. Takes care of the second equation. And the third equation, we have I1 times a negative 2 minus j. So negative 2 minus j plus I2 times, we've got an I2, let's see, we're in the third equation, I2, we've got 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6 plus j, times I2 plus I3 times, we've got a minus 2 there, looks like that's the only term, minus 2, and then that's going to equal, we have a minus j6 on this side, bring it to the other side as a positive j6. We can clean this up just a little bit. Uh, the top equation becomes I1 times 7 minus J3 plus I2 times a negative 2 minus J plus I3 times a minus 2 equals positive 12. The second equation becomes I1 times a minus 2 plus I2 times a minus 2 plus I3 times a positive 6 equals negative 12. And the final equation, just rewriting that one, we have I1 times a negative 2 minus J plus I2 times 6 plus J plus I3 times a minus 2 equals J6. Okay, and your matrix solver then gives us the solutions. I1 is equal to 0 0.43 plus 0.86J, or in um, polar coordinates, that would be 0 0.96 angle 63.63. .63. I2 is equal to minus, minus 0.38 plus uh, J1.7, which in polar form is 1.75 angle 102.49. And I3 is equal to a negative 1.98. Um, plus 0.86j, or in polar coordinates, that's 2.6, or 2.16, rather, 2.16 angle 156.67. So there are solutions. Now just to compare what we did before in the, me in the note analysis, we calculated the current going from V2 on down, so the current in this um, vertical branch here in the middle. In this case, again, it's called um, I5. In this case, I5 is simply equal to I1 minus I2, which turns out to be 0 0.96 angle 63.63 minus 1.75 angle uh, 102.49, which gives a solution then of 1.17 angle negative 46.41 degrees. And when you compare that to the solution that we got with a node analysis technique, um, you'll see that they're exactly the same.